Hi, I'm Bob Huddleston, and this is my American dream. It's one of those love-hate things you do, you know? They're just the craziest, the funnest. I'm not sure whether I thank people for letting me do this or, or, or slap them in the face. If you've ever wondered how a guy could go from building houses in California to building some of the baddest motorcycle helmets in the world. I got uh, the black one and I got a white one. And even the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. Steven Tyler did build, uh, made one here for him in 2009. Bob Huddleston knows the answer. This is my livelihood. I'm a, I was a general contractor for 30 years in California. And, um, you know, I decided, you know what? This looks like a lot more fun. Fifteen years ago, Bob Huddleston was a general contractor, caught in the California rat race and wishing for something more, until the day that Bob decided to throw together a special helmet to wear on a ride with friends. It turned out to be a wild hair of destiny. I just wanted something different for myself, you know, just something cool. I made that and started with a little skull on it, and then I added horns and I wanted fur, and you know, next thing you know, I've friends, hey, Bob, make me one, make me one. The next thing I know, I did, you know, I'm flourished into a, you know, a nice little business and it's fun. I, I enjoy making the helmets. Now, Badger Bob travels the country, bringing to life custom creations worn from coast to coast. Fantastical visions of taxidermy headgear that not everyone can wear, but that no one can possibly miss. When I create them, I have no idea what they're going to look like. And I never know what they're going to be done until somebody buys it and they like it. Actually, Shane Alamis, uh, Lorenzo Alamis' dad, they were together in, in a show in um, California one time and she bought one. From the custom design for Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler. He came by and then uh, wore it on stage and, you know, had some fun with it on stage. To a growing list of celebrities and fashion files that Bob now counts as his friends. Dale Earnhardt Jr. He came and bought one that uh, big old uh, Longhorns, Texas Longhorns, barely got it in his van. You know, I'm going to pr probably premiere this, you know, Wednesday or Thursday. Ready to turn loose the wild side in everyone in a way that's sure to keep Howling Helmets top dog. But like I said, the idea just came from just, I don't know, I grew up in the 60s. And leader of the pack. Because they're all horns, they're all horny when they leave. So. It's the horniest business you can see. This is my American dream. These helmets are just the craziest, the funnest, and the coolest things that I do. Ragdoll, baby, won't you do 